we're on our new camera. It's 3.30. Uh, we just got set up, so initially I wanted to just set up and uh, we're, this is where all, we've been seeing all the deer, but we uh, decided to uh, be a little more aggressive today. And so we actually walked back here. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we have a scrape right here. That's about 20 yards. Tons of deer over here. We know that for sure because we always see them come out from this particular area. But we've never wanted to come back here and bump them out. But I'm pretty sure deer aren't no more than 100 yards better that way. And there's a sun sign here. It should be a great hunt. We actually have a super good tree. Those of you who have ever hunted out of a pine tree, you guys know it's almost impossible on public land because here in Iowa anyways we can't cut any limbs off or anything like that on public land legally anyways. But we never hunted out of a pine tree. This is the first time. And you guys know how pine trees are. There's a hundred limbs off of them that go from the very top to all the way to the bottom. But this particular tree is seems like uh, the people that used to own this piece uh, already had it cut out and all that stuff for us. So all we gotta do is come in and hang up, hang our stands and stuff. Obviously, they've made it for uh, one person because Marvin's currently <laughs> sitting on his stand. <laughs> look, look, look how Marvin's standing. <laughs> My seat. Marvin's seat's right there. Marvin's sitting there. <laughs> because there's like all that stuff and you can't cut it down. But, uh, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Like I was saying, the, someone had to stay in here at one point. And it was true still up here. And you look right here, his strap's literally still right here. So, and it's like the trees I've grown around it over the years, obviously. But yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, we see some stuff and we should be able to get it on camera. By the way, this is our new camera. Um, obviously, it's not as great of quality as our DSLR, but it should be great for getting deer on camera. And yeah, we're gonna stay here, be quiet, and uh, hopefully, we have a good night. and get a little treat for Halloween so stay tuned I need to pull back my bow too I'm kind of scared because I don't want to fall off this damn tree
were just sitting here, and we were, like, as in, been five minutes since we did an interview. But, we were just sitting here, and then we were, like, crashing, and then these two little bugs were chasing a doe around, and the doe ran right here. And then we waited, and then those two, one, two came out. There's one six more in that low spike. And he ended up getting two yards from us, if that. But he was just right here. And then he ended up catching our wood, and then, but he didn't blow, he didn't know what, what we were. And then he ran off back into the thicket. That's a good sign, we haven't been sitting no longer than 30 minutes now. We can still hear Terry back there running around. We're gonna give it a little bit for that little spike to walk off and I'm gonna rattle and see if we can bring something in. Two shooters, right? <laughs> like 30 yards. What the fuck? Dude, because the first one, like, I was able to get down where he was going. And then, then the second one came, I was like, oh my god, but he came right here. But none of, our, none of it was a good shot. He, wasn't, he was never broadside, but he was only like 30 yards from us. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure he was running that this one off. and stuff and obviously I didn't get like great penetration on that deer.
Not sure what happened with the shot because I shot high in. I know why I shot high now. <laughs> God damn it. Because I was shooting the other day at 38 yards. I didn't move back down to 20. And shot high. It wasn't like super high. Super high. And at 20 yards, the angle, but I didn't penetrate deep. Lost costs yet, but God, dude, I would have smoked him about it. It's my first year seeing a single pin. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Jesus Christ, that's stupid. I, sh I didn't even check it. I didn't even think about it. I used to always put it back on twenty. I guess I did it this time. Yeah, then he can get in pretty fast. Yeah. Basically, I'll, I'll explain what happened. But, um, yeah, no, we were sitting here, we were just well, waiting for deer. We hear rustling over here. Look over, and we see a nice shooter buck. One, one, one buck. Like, I, I would have flung air at that one all day. And another one came, and that one was bigger. But he basically pushed that buck back into the thicket over here. And he went back this way. And I couldn't, I, like, he was about 30 yards, and I could never get my, like, get on him. And then we waited a little bit, and then I ended up grunting towards this way to bring him back this way. And he come, here he comes again, about 50 yards over there, wins back, goes back in a thicket. And then and I grunted again. I grunted back over to the field behind us. He comes back this way. He comes on the exact same trail as that other, spike. yeah, that spike that came in earlier. I got him broadside, anchored perfectly, all that was fine, it's just, I had my bow set on 40 yards, I and mean, it was only a 20 yard shot. Luckily, I, aim, I tend to aim lower anyways. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. We have no signal, I can't call anyone. Not optimistic right now, being that how high it was. Yeah, we did. We have seen three shooter bucks today. No one came into range. I just happened to mess up somehow. If I had a twenty, if I had my twenty pin, dude, he would have been smoked. Oh my god! Follow where he went and see if we can find some blood. But yeah, even with the amount of time we have left, I already shot that one, so one word to come in. I wouldn't really want to shoot that one just because I want to make sure I can get this one first. But no, for sure, I'm not going to. Oh, it is uh, 
uh, 5.11. I just got back to a truck. But yeah, that's gonna do it for, for us this week. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a deer on the ground, but we're getting close. Uh, I know Austin's out right now, and he has a camera and stuff like that. I'm not sure how his hunt's going. I haven't talked to him yet. I have a week coming up where we have it off. <clears throat> Almost everyone in the group has, has it off, so we're going to be going after some deer and kind of get a little bit more aggressive with some of the spots that we've been going to, and we've just been kind of holding back. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the tree next week. Hopefully we'll get a deer.